Hi guys, this is Victor with DIY Time Tech, and welcome to my series of videos about ANET ET4 3D printer. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to assemble the printer. And even though the printer comes with a set of instructions, sometimes it could be quite difficult to try to figure it out just by looking at the pictures and the diagrams. And it should be a lot easier if you just watch the video to see how it's done. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First, you'll notice there are three different cables attached to the printer base. At this point, we can connect one of them to the hotbed, and we will connect other two a little bit later. All three connectors for those cables are different, which is really nice from the design standpoint. They only go into a certain spot, and you can't really mess them up. Next, we're going to use four screws to attach the frame with the extruder assembly onto the base of the printer. You will notice there are four holes for those screws on the base of the printer. When installing the frame, this sticker with a QR code should be facing forward and this motor assembly should be facing backward. You can use the packing foam and lean the printer against it when installing the screws. Thread the screws in by hand first to make sure that they are aligned properly and then you can finish tightening them using the hex key included with this printer. Now we can connect this black ribbon cable to the control board in the back. Push it in all the way until those two claws on the sides lock it in place. Next we're gonna install the extruder assembly. You can place the cables behind the rail and then we're gonna make sure that the fan is facing forward and those three wheels stay in the back, two in the top and one on the bottom. And then the extruder assembly should just slide onto the rail. Now we are ready to install the belt for the extruder assembly motor. With the teeth on the belt facing down, we're gonna feed the belt into the groove on the rail right under those two wheels on the top. Here's another view from a different angle to give you a good idea how to do this. Now if you look at the back of the extruder assembly, you will notice two little notches for the belt. Go ahead and attach the left side of the belt first. Next, before we can attach the other side of the belt, we need to loosen the motor, otherwise there is going to be too much tension and you won't be able to reach the notch. Move the motor all the way to the right and then you should be able to attach the other side of the belt. Now you can apply a moderate amount of tension on the belt and then tighten the motor. Next we're going to connect the PTFE tubing. Simply push it in until it's locked in place securely. Now we are ready to connect the cables to the control board and it should be a very simple process because all of the cables are marked very clearly as far as what goes where. Just match the labels on the cables with the ones on the control board. Also don't forget to plug in one more connector at the bottom of the frame. Some of the parts might be still a little bit loose and we'll need to adjust them using the wrench tool that came included with this printer as well. Here are the four locations for the adjustment nuts. One of them is located on the bottom roller of the extruder assembly. Here's the second one. And the last two adjustment nuts located under the heat bed, right there. We're going to adjust all four of those nuts to the point where there's not too much slack and at the same time the rollers can still spin freely and there's not too much tension. Thank you. 
All right, now we're gonna assemble the holder for the filament spool and it's very easy and pretty straightforward. Next, we're gonna pre-install these two screws with T-nuts. And the spool holder is now ready to be mounted onto the frame. And finally, last but certainly not least, let's go ahead and attach the power cable and fire up the scanner. If you did everything right, it should power right on. And if it doesn't, go back and double check everything and then try it again. All right, that's pretty much it for the assembly of ANET ET4 3D printer. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to properly calibrate and start using it. So be sure to check out that video. I'll see you there. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.